Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Long time no chat. It feels like I haven't made a video in the garage in so freaking long. And I know it's been long because I haven't even done much to my car ever since I got it rewrapped. And that's been a while. I'm actually happy to be making a video even though I'm kind of recovering from being a little sick. We're gonna get this done. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably saw that my man's got me a front bash bar for my car. I have been wanting this for so, so long. I'm so excited to be putting it on today. If you guys have seen some of my older videos, there has been multiple times where my front grill just comes off in the freeway and I'm like dragging it and it gets ruined. I've probably gone through like three or four grills, I'm pretty sure sure and at this point I think my bumper is just messed up like all these little clips that hold in the grill are just not sturdy anymore they're very flimsy the last grill that I put on I tried to extra secure it I put zip ties on I did everything I could and it still flew off so I gave up I told myself that was the last grill I was gonna buy because there's no point if they're gonna keep flying off I have been rocking this big old hole on my bumper and I don't mind it but I did have like the windshield reservoir right here but I actually took it off a couple weeks ago it has made all the difference it was like this big white block that was just not appealing at all because I don't plan to run a grill anymore I thought even more that a front bash bar would look so good in the front I'm so excited to put it on and see how it looks with the white it's gonna match my wheels I know I still haven't put on my new wheels but it's gonna look with the white on white and eventually I do plan on getting those powder coated white in the future but yeah I do need to install my control arms they're in there <laughs> they've been in there for months but I'm gonna reverse the car a little bit so I have more space to work with and of course it is from Lonzo Works I haven't driven my car in a few days my car sat for too many days I guess look how disgusting this car is I always keep my portable jump starter with me. There we go. Look at that. I'm so excited to put this on. He has a couple options on his website for bash bars. My favorite was the double bash bar. I was in between getting the regular single bash bar, which is like the V with the jack point at the bottom. But considering that I was going to run it with no grill, I wanted something to fill this area because it's not going to be covered. Did like this one the very best. I do have the double bar with a jack point. I needed that jack point because it is so hard to jack up my car, not be so much of a hassle. So first we're gonna just take off the bumper, take off the OEM crash bar right here. So it is just gonna be four bolts. You have your windshield reservoir. It's gonna be like right there. Um, you're gonna wanna take that off. I believe that was two bolts and then a couple of clips. grab a 12 millimeter two bottom ones are these so this one this one and then there is two more in there with these two the best way to probably get this is with an extension I got a big old extension hopefully to fit right in there and these should be easier Got one out and you are going to reuse these so make sure you don't lose them So there's this one, and then there's one that is connected to the OEM crash bar. Thank you. 
I finally got it off. I don't know why that was literally the hardest part to do. I'm laying on the floor right now. I've been going at that clip for so long and then it just came off so easily. I don't know. It's always the smallest things for me that take the longest. There's no comparing it. Then we get the new one in. I am gonna go wash my hands first. I try to keep the white as clean as possible. Scooch in. the bolt and the washer ready prepared to do this because this is kind of hard holding it up so I'm just gonna have these ready try and put a bolt in no So that's what it's looking like so far. Oh my god, this looks so good. Now I just have to tighten everything and put the bumper back on and we should be good to go. Man, I'm basically ready to go track this car. It looks so good. And obviously with the bumper on, it's gonna be a little more hidden, but you'll still be able to see it. And now I have a jack point. That was honestly my main concern. That was my main reason why I always wanted a bash bar is to just have another jack point. I don't know what you guys think about it. I love it. I already knew I was gonna love it, how it looked on. I'm gonna put on the bumper and see how it fully looks all together. I might just have to remove the little clips because it looks ugly, but maybe I won't even need to trim the actual, yeah. I literally think I only need to remove the little tabs. It's not like actually hitting it, but these little tabs do not look cute coming out like that. <laughs> Normally the step, if you are keeping your grill, you would not do this part because I'm gonna chop off all of these little clips. I think the last girl that I had on, it just gets shredded at the bottom and it doesn't work anymore. You would most likely either have to trim your bumper depending which one you have or just put on the grill. Okay, these are basically just coming off on their own. I just bend it a couple times. I'm doing it because I don't plan to ever run a grill on this bumper again. And if I do plan to run a grill, it probably won't even work with this bumper, so I'll probably have to get a new bumper anyways. We are officially done i love how this looks so so much let me know what you guys think it literally fills in the space just how i wanted perfectly If you guys are looking for a bash bar for your car definitely hit up alonzo works i'll put his website down below and his instagram and all that stuff where you guys could find it i hope you guys enjoy this little install if you have any questions or anything let me know and i'll see you guys in my next video bye